What's up, everybody? King of Home here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Pulse Chain and Pulse X have officially launched. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick and easy tutorial on how to use Pulse Chain and Pulse X if you want to mess around with it before we get into price discovery. Now, I'm not going to talk anything about price trading options, strategies, or anything like that with Pulse or Pulse X or Pulse Chain uh, because it's way too confusing. And honestly, I'm, I'd rather just wait for the bridge to come out until we have an actual price discovery. Um, right now, everything is worth $0, which is good for non-taxable events if you guys are interested in that. Uh, but again, price, we'll talk about it another day. This is just going to be the tutorial. So let's get straight into it. If you guys are unaware of what Pulse is, I know it's been about two years since this thing has been introduced. Pulse is essentially a clone of Ethereum, right? The Ethereum chain clone with a little extra bells and whistles added to it. What that means is if you have any tokens on Ethereum, if you have a MetaMask wallet and you have tokens, including Ethereum, maybe Matic, maybe a whole bunch of other tokens on your Ethereum MetaMask wallet or Ledger wallet, you're going to have the same tokens over here on Pulse Chain. And now if you sacrifice back when there was a sacrifice period, if you know what that is, you're going to have some extra Pulse X tokens to play around with. If you did not sacrifice, you can't do anything in the system quite yet because I don't think you have access to Pulse X uh, unless you did a sacrifice. Um, you might. If, I think Ethereum might have converted over to, to, to mess around with. But uh, for, the, for the most part, the people that have sacrificed are going to have the most uh, leeway to play around in the meantime with this. So like I said, this is the main website. This is scan.pulsechain.com. Uh, so to mess around with the system and to kind of really understand what's going on, just bookmark this page. And everything that you need is going to be under the apps section right here. So we're going to go through that. Uh, this is your average Explorer. I mean, you guys can look at the Explorer if you need to. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through these apps. Uh, so the first one is going to be Pulse X. So Pulse X is the exchange for the Pulse Chain. Again, Pulse Chain is the clone of Ethereum. Pulse X is the clone of Uniswap, right? So everything Pulse X related is Uniswap related. You can kind of use those words interchangeably in the Pulse ecosystem. Okay. Um, now you can read through this. They talk a little bit about what Pulse X is. Um, you know, you have liquidity providing fees. They do some, they're having something called an incentive token. So they're doing a little bit of different things than Uniswap, uh, but it's pretty much the same thing as Uniswap. They, their, their token like Uni has, Uniswap has its Uni token. Pulse X has its Pulse X token along with it. So if we jump on into the exchange right here, this is where you can see looks the same. I'm not really going to go through this. You guys can do your own trading here of all of your tokens. Uh, you can import uh, the, the contract addresses if you want to find the tokens that you have in your wallet and do some trading that way. <clears throat> Uh, right now, there's not too many liquidity pools. I would caution against doing any type of trading <coughs> if you did a sacrifice because liquidity is pretty crazy and you might get hit with some pretty crazy slippage fees unless you uh, kind of do some, do some research beyond this video uh, for that. There's some other things you can do in the Pulse X website, such as farming. Again, providing liquidity pools. Just be careful with that. Make sure you don't... Um, lose your money from getting making liquidity pools. So you have farms right there and you have pools as well of which, you know, gets you um, additional income from trading fees. And then you have a couple other things here. You have their Twitter, their Telegram, their information and their burn page. You can burn some Pulse X as well, buy and burn right here. Uh, so a couple, couple options with that. That is the Pulse X website. Now again, Pulse X is the clone of Uniswap. Pulse X token is the clone of the uni token and pulse is the sort of ethereum of pulse chain right if you're going to compare it to ethereum this is the main token of it all okay so let's go ahead and go back to uh actually before we move on to the next to more links over here on the apps page on dex screener dex screener is one of the um, you know, chart charting websites um, that's going to give you some good charts for pulse x that just launched and here you can see the pretty crazy volatility. And again, these coins are valueless. They literally cannot be exchanged for any money right now. So, um, you know, take that, <laughs> take it with the, take it with the greatest salt with the numbers that you see here. Uh, but you can see that there's some pretty crazy, um, you know, changes in value with Pulse X token and some of the incentive tokens, the main tokens here, USD coin, which actually isn't worth a dollar <laughs> in this chain right now. Uh, but you guys can take a look at what's trading on Pulse X or Pulse chain this way. Um, looking at here on Dex screen, this is going to be a helpful website for you to bookmark as well as the Pulse Chain website. 
All right, so moving on here, uh, in our apps, we have a couple other things. You have your pulse ramp bridge. Uh, so this is not open yet, but once this does open, you'll be able to trade back and forth between Ethereum, the Ethereum mainnet, and the pulse chain mainnet, um, and maybe some other uh, chains as well. But once this opens, that's when it gives the tokens, all of the tokens on Pulse potential value because you'll be able to move your tokens out and cash them out for real money. Right now, you can't do that with Pulse Chain. You can't really do anything with your tokens besides trade them for other valueless Pulse Chain tokens. But once this bridge opens, that's when the price discovery, as I call it, begins. So look forward to that. Now, that could be a really good thing. It could be a really bad thing. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so next up uh, in the apps, you have your sacrifice checker. This is a good, uh, this is actually good even if you're not on Pulse Chain. So if you open this up right here, um, <clears throat> you can read some of what's here uh, and you can mainly go to this PRC20 token scanner and connect your wallet and go ahead and click on that scan button. It's going to tell you every single token that you own in your Ethereum wallet uh, when the snapshot shot happened. Um, now, if you go back on over to PulseX and you want to trade those tokens for Pulse or whatever, uh, you can do that. But it's going to give you everything that has copied over from the Ethereum chain to the Pulse uh, chain. And you're going to be able to see all your tokens and add them to your MetaMask wallet that way. Another thing I forgot to mention, guys, you should know this. I mean, all exchanges pretty much do this now. When you connect to the PulseX website, it's going to give you the option to add the Pulse chain to your MetaMask wallet. So um, that's how you see your tokens to, to, to begin with. You need to add the chain to the to your wallet first. Okay, so that is the um, sacrifice checker. And then last but not least, they do have a validator section. So uh, when I put out my Avado videos soon, you guys, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a, a pulse chain validator opening too. But it's pretty much the same, same process as becoming a validator on Ethereum. So if you're familiar with that, you do pretty much the same steps here. Um, you need 32 million pulse to make one validator in this ecosystem. So um, yeah, everything works pretty much the same if you, if you go through that process. So that is everything. That's that's the ins and outs of the Pulse Chain website. Don't get too confused. <laughs> I really wish they would have named some of these tokens a little bit different. Everything is pulse, 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 pulse. Uh, but it makes a little sense if you just understand Pulse Chain is Ethereum. Pulse token is the Ethereum token. Um, Pulse X is Uniswap. Pulse X tokens is the Uni token. If you really want to understand all the lingo between that, and um, you know, if I were you, in the next couple days, I wouldn't really move too many coins around unless you have a strategy of your own. I would just look at Dex Screener and see what everybody else is doing. See how the value is changing between the tokens in here. Anyway, that is everything for today, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not a member of my Patreon, consider becoming a Patreon member to get access to all of my videos earlier than everyone else here on YouTube. Uh, we will be talking about some gems that are coming up. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Meme coins, ordinals, all that stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in another video. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.